An out of control trolley crashes into a historic house in southwest Philadelphia. We now just got new video showing the moment of impact. And this video is incredible to see. CBS News Philadelphia reporter Wakisha Bailey is live for us at the scene. And Wakisha, it's just amazing that nobody was seriously injured in this crash. Good morning. Yeah, absolutely, Janelle. Jim, after just watching that video, as you mentioned, just a remarkable scene. Now, that trolley was removed from this historic home about earlier this morning, around 5 o'clock. But I just want to show you just the extent of the damage. Now that the sun is up, you can just see the scattered debris all over the ground and the road. This area is still blocked off. Now, Ellen, I recently placed a bright orange sticker on the building, marking it uninhabitable. And of course, the caretaker of the this home who also lives there tells us she may have lost everything in a matter of minutes. Now let's go to that video that we just received into our newsroom from a witness. As you can see, a trolley goes off tracks, just barely misses one car before sideswiping a minivan and ultimately crashing into this historic landmark dating back to 1776. Now that crash happened at Island Avenue and Cobbs Creek Parkway around 1030 last night. Sopta says there was was a mechanic on the trolley at the time of the crash who was later taken to Presbyterian Hospital with non life threatening injuries. There were no passengers on board, and inside the white SUV, there were two occupants who were also injured. But miraculously, the caretaker who lives in the building, there she says she walked downstairs to see the trolley planted in the middle of her living room. Now, witnesses describe the scene as something out of a movie. I saw a trolley in my living room. I said, oh my, there's a trolley in my living room and the whole, the whole ceiling is on the floor and everything is just, there's no wall anymore, just a big trolley. So how would a trolley get in my living room? I'm probably going to lose everything I own because the house is not stable. And Structurally out. It took out a whole corner, the whole front wall is gone. Something straight out of a movie. They were messed up, guy got hit under his chin, he's bleeding, and the other guy was bleeding out his eye, like it was, so we had to get him some water, we had to get him some napkins, make sure that he was okay. And once again, we'll just show some more video showing what happened earlier this morning with that trolley crashing into an SUV, then plummeting into this historic landmark, which is also someone's home. Now, back out here live at this historic landmark, as you can see, it is boarded up. Now, we did check with several historic websites, and the building dates back to 1776. Then it was a tavern where George Washington and his men used to frequently visit. And SEPTA says that they are currently investigating what led to this crash. So as we know more details, we'll be sure to pass them along to you. Jim, Janelle. What a scene there with Keisha. Thank you for that breaking update for us this morning. And more now on the incredible history of that damaged building. So as Wakisha mentioned, according to the Darby Creek Valley Association, it was originally known as the Blue Bell Inn or the Blue Bell Tavern where George Washington and his soldiers were often there, uh, including on their way to the Battle of Brandywine. The building is located on what was once the main stagecoach road between Philadelphia and the southern colonies known as King's Highway. Really a potentially significant loss if that home cannot be repaired.